What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning on the left side of the map in the blue color playing as Gaia. His name is Mardi. His opponent today in the red color playing as Poseidon. His name is Soup. The map, as always, competitive, mega random. We got a very interesting one here. I'm not actually sure I've seen this one uh, very often. We got a nice little cliff protecting both players' bases, but there's sides off to, off to both sides. It's opened up there. This is the round of 16 for the Divine Intervention Tournament. Uh, I think Marty got a buy through the first round or something. Someone didn't show up. Can't exactly remember. Soup, on the other hand, he's played a, a very, very nice start to this tournament. We'll see if he can keep up with the with that level moving forward. But he is put into an uncomfortable position here for game number one, where he has to play the Poseidon. Now, Poseidon is actually a relatively tough god to play in most situations if you're not a Poseidon main. It's not an easy god to just pilot. It's not like picking up uh, picking up Uranus. It's not like picking up Loki. Though, I mean, those gods do have their own challenges as well, but you do have to put a little bit of effort into actually learning Poseidon to get any value out of actually playing Poseidon. Gaia, on the other hand, over here for Marty, the real secret to playing Gaia, and I hate to give Gaia secrets away because she's so busted, easily one of the best gods in the uh, game. That's me telling a joke. That's me being humorous, guys. If you haven't worked it out, Gaia is one of the, uh, the more difficult gods to have success with. However, there are some matchups where her weaknesses aren't so apparent, and this is one of them. Gaia versus Poseidon. There's not really an easy way for Poseidon to abuse Gaia's weaknesses, and you can get some really good games in this matchup. But to continue along, the first thought in this matchup is that if you were playing Gaia here, one of the things you really want to be abusing the most, and I say abusing, but utilizing the most here, is your economic guild. In utilizing this economic guild, it, it, it puts you in front of your opponent by a significant margin. If you simply just get yourself upgrades, try not to fight too much. I know it's hard for an Atlantean player to not want to fight, but try not to fight too much. You can definitely have a lot of success playing Gaia in this matchup. So we'll see if Marty is going to go that route with the economic upgrades. Oftentimes I see Gaia players try and get themselves uh, early town centers and the like there as we do see a citizen moving up onto this position where Soup is already here. This is not going to be good for Marty at all. One citizen versus three villages is not a great matchup there and Marty does decide to turn around. There are some caribou up here but I'm not sure that Marty has actually seen them yet and I love this aggressive movement here from Soup to get and grab that hunt. There's also caribou down the bottom of the map and I'm sure there's going to be uh, some deer elsewhere. In fact, I think they're right here. If I had to get... No, they're right here. So in a, in a weird position there as well. As we take a look at the map, and we're seeing a really forward temple here for Soup. It looks to me like Soup is going for an Ares rush. We've seen Ares rushes before. It's not the best of plans in this matchup. I have to say, the, the ability to defend... An Ares Rush as Gaia. This it's as simple as you just make yourself a ton of Terma and uh and automatons. You focus down the enemy heroes with your Terma, and then your automatons clean up everything else, inclusive of the uh of the Cyclops there. As a relic has been uncovered, the Tower of Cestus. But Marty, he is gonna be in for it here. It's a very late advance time for an Ares Rush from Soup, but it's also an equally late advance time here for Marty going up through Leto here, considering he's actually been pushed off of basically all hunt because he missed this caribou here, and Soup is grabbing basically these. I think these are Marty's. Uh, Marty's deer here, but Soup is grabbing them, and he's also got his own deer down the bottom here that he can grab. Walls are up. Theseus moving forward. We do see an attempt at some walls around this tower, but Marty here not yet able to do it. The town center will be enough to actually defend these citizens, but Marty not quite paying attention. He does bring the citizen over to build the walls up as the villagers are going to be moving back. Another easy way to defend yourself is utilizing that Gaia forest onto your towers and just getting yourself a nice and safe, fast tower upgrade get the towers or get the get the gaia forest onto this position i think you should be able to get it at about there you go five minutes four minutes and a bit here 
as the citizen pulls back. This citizen needs to get back to home. But Lido is now in. Soup is now coming forward. How are the economic upgrades here for Marty? He's got himself Hand Axe, Pickaxe. We do see the Cyclops is out. Soup, on the other hand, he's only got himself Hand Axe at this point as a stable does come down. And Soup is one of the players here. He loves being aggressive. And the Automaton getting taken out here. Great play from Soup, sniping that one down. But another Automaton is queued up. How long does it take to disappear? It takes 45 seconds to disappear and takes 16 seconds to train. So, Marty should be able to heal this one back up, but I'm not sure Soup is going to be, uh, going to allow that uh, to be that easy. And he does indeed utilize the, uh, the, what do you call that? Pestilence there to stop that automaton from coming out as one military barracks is down and Marty is now getting himself watchtowers in. That'll be defending this tower here. I wouldn't mind seeing a building or a wall here to defend this gold mine from the impending Hippolyta threat as uh, some stuff is starting to move in and cause some problems. We do see another sentry tower coming up. I like the play. Nice and defensive. This citizen is very much out in the open here though. Gonna get pulled back. Nice attempt here from Soup to power up uh, to pathing block here trying to take out this citizen but it looks like it will basically be able to get back home and be safe here as soon as that um that Ares is gone that automaton is going to be popping out pestilence is gone the automaton is going to be popping out you need to be careful about that one we are seeing some mermulo coming through a farm coming down as well for marty this is such a nightmare for him throwing a counter barracks down this tower is not defended we do see an attempt at a wall but it is too slow ladies and gentlemen and there's just no units out just yet for marty can he defend himself he's going to lose this watchtower the Cyclops has got 369 HP left. That's a decent amount of HP left on that Cyclops to try and take the town center down. As we do see a counter barracks coming down, a military barracks coming down as well. More units piling in onto this position. Is this citizen not paying attention to? Does almost get taken out. Another tower over here, not exactly protected just yet. And Soup notices that. He's going to be going for that one immediately here as the citizen retreating away. And he, in absolute nightmare fashion, Marty is... Supply block. He's population blocked right now. He's missing a house. Another a citizen for the first time does end up falling here. Automaton coming out. Hippolyta's going to be dealing with that Automaton very, very quickly. As a hero, Mamillo is now out. Going to be just jumping around to this citizen almost going down as well. Here we go. Automaton now coming through for Marty. Can he hold here or not? Soup is in such a commanding position with this rush at the moment. Is this citizen here going to get sniped down? Not quite. Does manage to pull that one away. And a, a farm coming down in the main base here as well. This is not going to be the easiest thing to hold on to as a watchtower up here, a watchtower over here, and a town and it might be enough to help keep this town center alive for a little bit. But what Marty is lacking right now is one, food income, and two, manners. Here's the manner up. A couple of units starting to come through here. Soup has a couple of decisions to make. He can just retreat back and just solidify the position with a town center here. But it looks like he wants to go for this one. We do see the Mermillo hero coming through. Going to start getting a little bit of damage done onto the Cyclops. The, uh, the Automaton going to help out as well. A couple of units falling over on this position as the Citizen is back onto the farm. Up onto this position here. We do see a stray guy Forest getting thrown down to try and defend the base. Even more so as the... Well, the, the resources are in for Marty. He just needs to spend them a little bit. A farm coming up in the top corner here. Gold mine with 1,200 gold remaining at this moment dropping that spider layer on the town center is a good defensive measure if soup decides he wants to attack that he's going to probably lose a whole bunch of hippocon or hoplites there which is exactly what marty needs in this position and if you look at the score it's really not that big of a difference here but we see an, an upgrade coming through that you don't get to see all too often it is the will of chronos this gives your colossus not your colossus your cyclops a lot of damage as we do see the units starting to move through here lots of units here getting sucked up as he's going straight after the town center we do see a mana coming up this citizen here needs to get pulled away as well as that mana is getting stopped there marty kind of still population block still needs a mana at this point as these units out in the middle of nowhere do go for a little bit of a raid but super retreats back in time the will of the chronos cyclops does end up getting taken out there as the town center getting uh, targeted down here by these melee units but in that moment here marty does uh look like he's held on here as the units are coming back there is still that hippolyta that needs sniping before marty's automatons can start really wrecking havoc on this army here 
As do we see any more farms coming up? A mana coming up on this position. The citizen haven't been trained for ages here. 34 villages for soup to 11 citizen for Marty. In the grand scheme of things, if Marty can just get himself sorted here, he's actually not in a bad position at all con considering income he's probably also does he have some well he's got plow but he's he can get upgrades and things and sort himself out just stop building mermillo for a hot second start the village of production and he might be okay here to hold on which might sound crazy after all the damage he's uh, suffered in this position but when you're playing against uh when you're playing against an Ares rush and the Ares is over what comes next soup looks like look at this he's got 47 favor though uh, this is what i was talking about where poseidon actually struggles quite a bit with dealing like abusing guy's weakness which is guy doesn't have a great answer to myth units and soup is looking like he's trying to get himself some cyclops out they are elder cyclops so they're very very strong here he's got the favor but they just got so many resources 250 food 17 favor it's definitely worth it for the stats but it's just a lot of resources for a greek player to get that unit out in the classical age and soup is investing hard into that as we do see a cheeky little raid here onto soup's villages great effort here from marty getting out of his base trying to deal some damage here soup's now got himself that first cyclops can he get the second one out he will be able to bum rush down this town center with two cyclops but the damage is getting done and this is leveling the playing field severely here here in this game for Marty. Every villager here that he's going to be picking off, not only is he stopping the food income from a little bit, but also picking those villagers off is really, really big. As the Hippocon coming around, will we see a, an attempt here from Soup to kind of block these units? Looks like he's going straight after that Hippolyta. If he can kill the Hippolyta and get that one back up with the other Automaton, that'll be ideal, but it looks like he needs to retreat away, leaving that Automaton remaining there. The army of Soup, 107 population, looking very, very scary. There will be access to another Spider layer here i think double towers on this town center as well for marty is a really really nice attempt at holding this position as the army going to be retreating back in to the main base here marty getting out more citizen finally so he's not actually falling any further behind and he's got such a defensive position here he doesn't does he have another guy forest no more guy forests to lock this town center in but he does need to be careful about leaving his base with the army starting to push forward look at the damage that this elder cyclops is doing 23 hack damage a second 24 crush damage a second these buildings are going to be going down very very fast there's the spider egg getting dropped down there's not going to be any way to kind of deal with that he doesn't quite manage to take more than one of those down i think there's three remaining there and he gets a couple of kills for it there as the cyclops now targeting down the town center he is tanking this does marty have some resources in the bank he's got no uh favor in the bank here to make himself any hero units to get in onto that cyclops there is the uh Surma trying to surround this unit as the towers dealing some good damage another elder cyclops coming in onto this position here to help out as that town center is getting wailed on here 900 hp remaining as the toxode is going to attempt to take out a citizen we will be seeing those towers here for marty doing tons of damage they are targeting the hippocon does he have himself crenellations no crenellations so he's not doing peak amounts of damage but the town center here is still getting just brutalized by this elder cyclops and what can, what can Marty really do here? He's got no units left. He's losing Citizen in his main base. He's got so many resources in there. And he can't get a gold mine. He's actually on this gold mine over here. But where else can he get the gold from? Answer is not really anywhere here. As the Cyclops will get taken out. Town Center going to be kept alive. For a hot second here, Tower's going to start getting some good damage done. Town Center alive, Villagers repairing this one up. Two citizens do fall, 11 citizen now to 41 villagers for Soup. But Soup needs to pull back here. He has not been able to finish this game just yet. And look at this, Marty is on two Town Centers right now. If he can get those villagers out and just get a gold mine, he is going to be in a fantastic position. Soup overestimated his army strength there. The guy are able to hold in this game. Town Center left with 500 HP. P, but it does have that Gaia regeneration, ladies and gentlemen. Is he getting Citizen out of this town center? Still not getting Citizen out of this town center. We do see the villagers trying to shank down this wall over here to get onto this gold mine. I wouldn't mind seeing your own walls getting thrown up here, but guys, but not guy. Marty's got no income here as the town center under attack yet again. Can this Cyclops with three towers targeting it down and uh, the town center take this down? It looks like the answer is no because the hero Mamilo is now out here. Marty can do some garrison mine here if he wants 
as that town center could get repaired back up as well. The Citadel, Tor not the Citadel, I can't speak. The uh, Cyclops does manage to take the town center down and his citizen down there with the micro and Marty in that position does decide to tap out a valiant effort there from marty almost managed to stay alive here i haven't seen this many towers being built ever but it almost managed to work here as soup was just pedal to the metal i love these walls here from soup this is the type of thing that i don't see enough players do when they're being aggressive it's like if you're being aggressive it means that your opponent is in full panic mode and it just gives you free reign to just send a villager forward and get the map locked up so they're not able to sneak things like this gold mine and while marty did sneak it for a little bit he just wasn't able to stay on it and he can't continue if he's got no gold first win coming through here for soup in this game as my scoreboard looks to uh be having some issues i'm not sure what's going on there i'll have to fix that one if you guys enjoyed this game please consider the follow on the twitch if you're on the youtube hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next game